What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. It's your boy, Conjurus Hex. And today, I got a special treat for you. Well, actually, a special treat for me, because I finally found the components to my Enigma Rune Word. And I'm here to tell you that you can find one, too. Stay tuned for the video for a couple tips and tricks from me. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check it out. Want to see something real scary? Now, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not rocket science. You just gotta kill monsters. Kill monsters so they can drop runes. Magic find doesn't matter, but on the other hand, if you're magic finding and you find valuable items that you can trade for runes, then you can slowly trade up and, you know, use your Machiavellian backdoor trades to uh, get yourself a jaw rune, get yourself a burr rune. And uh, there's a little story about how I found my enigma, and you might be thinking, oh, hey, where's the burr? Well, Here's the story. I found the jaw rune in the Chaos Sanctuary hell, obviously. You just got to kill monsters, kill monsters, kill monsters. Eventually, they're going to drop it. Realistically, I could imagine that, you know, if you play for three months straight, like I did, maybe you don't have a job. Actually, I do have a job. That's a side story. Anywho, you farm, 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 farm. Maybe you'll find one of them. Maybe you'll find that jaw rune. Maybe you'll find a burr rune and you'll You'll tell your wife and you'll jump up and down in the other room, have yourself a party. But hey, you still have to find the other one. I found my jaw rune. I got really lucky. That was pretty sick, pretty exhilarating in the Chaos Sanctuary. I found a Sir rune also in the Chaos Sanctuary. That's kind of my lucky farm spot. It seems to be doing me a lot of luck. Um, farming that with my sorceress, teleporting around, doing the Chaos Seal trick, popping those monsters, getting those runes, killing monsters. But hey, I don't have that Burr rune yet. What I did is, of course, you know, you're, you're getting items from other characters. I have like a necromancer, sorceress, barbarian, you know, blah, 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 druid, all the different characters. You're just gathering all the items so that you can trade them. I made this trade. I traded four poison and bone grand charms from my necromancer to someone who was just looking for it. They really wanted four. They traded me an ethereal breath of the dying, uh, berserker axe. Then I thought, okay, that's, I, I want to do this trade because then I could trade that breath of the dying berserker axe. I could trade that for a sur rune. That's another Sir rune. That, that's, that's a realistic trade. You might think, oh, hey, why don't you just go straight for Burr? Well, hey, I already had this Sir rune, and if you guys don't know, all I need to make a Burr rune is the Haradra Cube recipe, two Sirs, and a Flawless Amethyst. You would combine those in the Haradra Cube, and it gives you a Burr rune. So I just wanted to do whatever I had to do to get that Burr. So I sold that Ethereal Breath of the Dying for just a Sir rune. I think it was fair. I don't know. Maybe I could have gotten more. I don't really care. Once I get this Enigma, this is going to be a game changer for all of us. So let's uh, let's do this cube recipe. And don't mind me. I'm going to have to clean out my stash a little bit. All right. We got two Sir runes, which is a pretty high rune. But the main reason you want these is because they combine to Burr. Sir, Sir, Flawless Amethyst, Burr. Oh, yeah, baby. That's exactly what I need. Ja, Ith, Burr. Ja, Ith, Burr, Ja, Ith, Burr. Everyone, let's look at our notes. Let's insanely scan the internet. Make sure we don't screw this up. Ja, Ith, Burr, Ja, Ith, Burr, Ja, Ith, Burr. Ja, Ith, Burr. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Okay. I got a mage plate. I'm using it for the low strength requirement. Oh my God. This is so stressful. All right, let's just do it. Don't be a, don't be a little puss. Ja, Ith, Burr. Enigma, mage play. Yes, my life is complete. All right, let's take her for a test run, huh? What do you think? I could probably respec my uh, my stats, so I'll do that later. Um, it just gives huge strength, 64 to strength. So that really helps your strength. I got a torch, it's an Amazon torch, but it's just what I have. I don't have a paladin torch yet. I give stats. I got, I got two stats on this shako. Anyways, that's for a little later. That's for a little later in the video or a different video. I don't know. I'm going to be making a whole lot of Paladin videos now. Just, just, just you wait. Just you wait, folks. All right. Time to take this bad boy out for a spin. Slap a, slap ourselves a chaos run. My sorceress is just obsolete now. Because my Paladin has teleport. So what can I say? Need I say any more, folks? We all know Blessed Hammer is the most elite skill in the game. You just need Teleport to round it out. And hey, I can even do the Chaos Seal trick because I have Teleport. And I'll, I'll be showing you that in a moment, folks. Let's just clear these seals first. 
the five seals of Diablo. One, two, three, four, five. Man, it could have been six. Why didn't they do six? Come on, what a, what a missed opportunity. What a missed opportunity. I'll kill some of these mobs over here. Yeah, let's do that. You swap into your Redemption R when you want to suck up those souls for life and mana. And you swap to your Cleansing R when you want to reduce the uh, amount of time that you're cursed. So that's pretty useful here in the Chaos. Because these Oblivion Knights are always cursing you. But of course, with your Concentration, your uh, Blessed Hammer damage gets pretty high. What's mine at? 9,000? I just need a few more Peak Homes, Paladin Combat Grand Charms. <laughs> and then uh, that, uh, that damage will increase even further to godly levels. But yeah, just uh, living, living life. Living life large. Large and in charge with my Enigma. Oh yeah, baby. Ooh, look, a Grim Helm. Natalia's Totem, I already have one. It's pretty good, pretty good set. Anywho, it's above me. I throw that to the peasants. Hidden stash, huh? Never know where those burr runes... Oh, full rune. I almost had a heart attack. Full rune, don't care. No hair, don't care. Alright, here's the seal trick. The seal trick is you kill the three seal bosses, but you leave one of the empty seals untapped. You leave one of them untapped because as soon as you uh, tap it, uh, it kill it blows up everything in the chaos but the trick is is that there's a bunch of mobs that you left in kind of the entrance of the chaos that you don't have to kill right when you find them you kill them when they explode but in order to get the magic find in order for them to actually drop stuff you have to have like looked at them on your screen within a few seconds of popping the seal so that's why you use teleport and you just like teleport through this area I want to get a better better run there but you teleport through this area so that you can see them on your screen See them on your screen, but you can just go right by them, go right by them, and then hit the seal, and then they all blow up. Normally, if you just had it blow up, but you didn't look at them, you didn't do that teleporting through, then they wouldn't drop anything. But as you can see, I'm going through this back part, and even though they blew up from the seal, it still counts, and they drop items, and hopefully you get a rune from it or something. Do we get lucky here? No, we don't. I don't give my YouTube luck and show you a sick drop, but... You do this over and over and over and over, and then it increases your odds because you just kill more stuff more quickly. Uh, you don't have to be standing there killing them. That's just like extra efficiency uh, to do it that way. But anyways, that was a bonus tip. That wasn't really the point of the video. <laughs> Let us carry on. Wow, that was... <gasps> That's one for the video. Oh, yeah. Ba Ugh. I mean, it's still good. It's still good. It's still good. I mean, it's the lowest number. It could have been a five. Could have been minus five plus five, but it's still a cool find. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, what the hell? That went rather quickly. Let's just do a bail run as well. Let's just do myself a bail run as well. Don't need this actually. Ooh, souls. Let's see if I can survive a teleport fest full of souls. Come on. I just want to kill stuff. So I'll make a quick pit stop. Let's see how well I do against souls. Ooh, a shackle. What a wonky... What a wonky world stone map. Alright. Alright. I can kill him. Looks like looks like I can kill souls. I'm just killing them because I love killing. Even though I can teleport right past them. I just live live on with my life. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, yes. GG world stone map. <laughs> Okay, this one. There are no souls here, so I have nothing to prove. Therefore, I'm not going to try to kill anything. Let's just find that exit. Ooh, a well.
Uh oh, we need the magic boy. It's okay, I got myself a holy bolt. These snakes are chunky. Some chunky snakes. Holy bolt to kill the magic immunes. Cleansing aura to uh, get the curse off me. God damn, be prepified, get off me. Consuelo the Annihilator. That's what I like to call him. The soothing ASMR sound of Paladin Blessed Hammers being cast. Mmm, music to my ears. Oh, I forgot. Get him. Get him, Ilzan. Oh, wait, I'm healing him. Holy Bolt either heals allies or damages undead. So sometimes if my Merc gets in the way, I gotta just reposition and shoot them Holy Bolts. The power of Christ compels you. Living that hammered in life. Maybe I should be wearing a Raven Frost. Nah. Because I can just teleport around. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Thanks. The preemptive hammers before the minions spawn, of course. Activate my redemption R as soon as I feel like I'm losing any amount of significant health. My vigor aura is kind of obsolete now since I can just teleport. Don't need to run. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Low created male, huh? I believe that is a Nata Natasha's, Natalia's. I believe that's what it is. And I already have like five of them. GG. G mother effin G. All right, all right. I'm not even level 90 yet. I'm only the Wii level 86. Oh god, I can't tell which one's real. I wasn't paying attention. I think it's the bottom. Oh, it's that one. I think I'm hitting them. I think I'm hitting them. I like personally. I like to be. I like to stand to the to the right of per, of it, what I'm killing. Where's my stand to the right of your target, gang? Are any of you that stand to the left of them, gang? <laughs> Ooh, a unique ring. Wow. Come on, Stone of Jordan, Dwarf Star, which is cool. I guess. I guess it's cool. I already have. That's like my third one, which is still cool. I can trade some runes for it. Have some extra dwarf stars, build up that wealth. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's pretty stoked. Pretty stoked to finally have my Enigma. So my life is complete. My life is complete. Now what do we do? Well, now we can finally play the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Conjurus Hex, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. It'd be a pleasure.